Hello, Virgo. So we're going to do a short, I think, <laughs> reading today. Um, I think it's going to be short. Hopefully they're not changing the plan because I have a ton of things to still do, but I did want to get you all a reading today. So let's see here. Okay, so what we have, we actually have your situation, we have your hopes and fears, and then what the angels are recommending that you do. We're gonna cover this at the end. Okay, this looks good. Starting out, we have the Six of Forces, and it's so funny because someone had just mentioned to me about tidal waves running over people, and how we have to just let go and let that uh, current run over. But this is a six of forces. It's the waterfall. This is all about, you know, remembering the power that we have, remembering that we have this, this personal power, that we are in control, that we can accomplish things, that we are dynamic, we are dynamo. We do have power. We can shape any situation. We can make any situation work out in our benefit, in our favor. We can really manifest the things that we desire, even when we think that we cannot, because water's fluid, water moves. Like, look at this water that's now become a waterfall. The water didn't just stop and think, okay, well, there's no way that I can move around those trees. There's no way that, you know, I can move around that, that mountain kind of in the way. And I don't, I can't get around it. The water just does. It erodes the mountain. It will knock down trees. The water, it, it's its own force. So it will get around everything that needs to get around. It will drop down and around everything that needs to get around to get to its final goal. So whatever the body of water that it is that it's wanting to fall into, be the ocean, be it a pond, it is going to get to where it's determined to go. And nothing, nothing will stop it. Nothing's going to stop the water because it, it's a force to be reckoned with. You are a force to be reckoned with. So some of you, this situation that you've been going through, it's really worn you down. You've had a lot of challenges. You feel as though you've lost your power. You've forgotten that you're the water. You've forgotten that you're a force to be reckoned with. You've forgotten that you can accomplish everything that you want, that there is nothing that you can't overcome, that there is nothing that you can't succeed in, and, and to get the things that you deserve, get the things that you desire. You're feeling like your life has been turned upside down. Some of you feel as though someone else has taken your power. It can be family, it can be friends, it can be somebody at work, it can be a business partner. It could be a lover, but, but you feel as though you have no power in this situation. You feel as though you have no control. Some of you have given up or you are on the brink of giving up, but they're saying to not give up because you are the water. You are the waterfall. You are the force to be reckoned with. You just need to remember your power. That's all. And, and really step into your power because you're at the end. See, the waterfall has dropped and it's now in, the, in this pool. If you lift the pool of water, it's not moving, so the water's not continuing on, it's, it's resting there. It's reached its final destination. You are about to drop into your final destination. You are about to arrive, but you can't give up right before you get there. So I'm encouraging many of you to not give up. You're, you're almost there. Now, as far as your hopes and fears, the first card you have is the one of keys. This is the architect. You see that there's this, this couple and he's got his arm up. He's giving all these directions on what he wants done and how he wants done, it to be done. This is another card that's about being in your power. He's the one calling the shots. He's the one letting them know. He's the one with the authority to say, okay, no, I, I want that over there. And yeah, actually, let's, let's have that opening, that doorway there. But this is about being in charge, taking command. There's this saying that uh, they, they teach when you go to officer school about um, when you're in charge, when in charge, take charge, take command. You are in charge. But many of you, the thing is because, you know, when you're building a house, building a house is never easy. You'll have these unexpected things that pop up, these unexpected delays and hiccups and problems. And, and it's just, it's usually one thing after another, and it's usually something every day. So for many of you, the situation that you've been going through, there's been a lot of delays. There's been a lot of hiccups. There's been one problem after another, one delay after another. And you feel as though it's totally out of your control. Many of you are again at the brink of giving up. 
because you're fearful. Many of you are fearful that you're going to have another, another issue, another block, another delay, another headache, you know, something else with your plan, something else that, you know, you've been working toward this goal. You've been trying to get there. You've been working hard, but it's one thing after another thing, after another thing. And you're just like, I just, I don't think it's going to work out. You know, I think that, you know, maybe I just need to give up. Maybe this, this isn't going to work, but you're fearful that you're going to have another block. You're fearful. Some of your fearful things are going to um, completely fall through, but they're saying step into your power. Because even if there's one final last little hurdle that you have to overcome, it will be small. It will be minute. And it is something that you will be able to take charge of and will be able to navigate through. Because again, you're almost at your destination. But you fear a block. You fear this big old tree being in your way. You have the four of keys clearing the way. You see that there's this couple and he has an ax. So yes, this tree is on the path. Yes, it's obstructing their way to get to the house. And it, it's going to take a little bit of time, but it's not going to take him six weeks. It's got, not going to take him four days. It's going to take him just a little time to hack away at that tree and get it out of the way. So for some of you, you are fearful you're going to have another obstacle. But what you need to remember is that you have everything that you need to overcome that obstacle. You have everything that you need to clear it from your way. There's no need to allow it to stop you. There's no need to allow it to deter you because you can clear it and then you can continue proceeding forward to your final goal, to your destination, to your home. Now for some of you, you see how this home is at the end of this lane and it's all on its own? It's way back there. And the light is just blasting from back there. It's just illuminating through this forest, through the trees. Oh, some of you are saying um, you can't see the forest through the trees. So sometimes if you're so focused on this tree in front of you, you can't see all the other trees and things that are around you. Some of you are so focused and fearful that one, it's just going to be one more thing and then you're going to throw in the towel. You're like, I'm going to lose it. One more thing, I'm going to snap and lose it and quit. Done, finished, can't do this anymore. But you're so focused and fearful of another issue coming up, of another block coming up, another challenge, another delay coming up, that it does impact things. So it could make things go a little smoother with you getting to your destination if you, sh if you can switch your perspective and not be fearful of another block. Because for many of you, there is going to be, let's be honest, there is going to be one last little hurdle this week that you're going to have to overcome. But it is the final hurdle. So for those of you that have been working hard for a final, a, a final goal, a final outcome, something that you've been trying to achieve, who knows, maybe some of you have been wanting to build a home, buy a home, but you've been working toward it, you are going to have a, a hurdle, but you are going to overcome it. Because for some of you, you have the ax. You have the ability. You're going to chop that down, get it out of your way. For others of you, you actually have a team that's coming to help you because, because again, this, this house, it's all by itself. Some of you feel as though you have been fighting this all on your own, as though you have had no help. Help is on their way. So don't give up hope. Hang in there. Um, you, you have to stay strong. You have to not give up their same. You are almost there. Many of you fear that you're not because this has been a very long journey. You have the Oracle of Delphi, and I think you can see that. I think, yes, close enough, good. So you have this, this priestess at Delphi, and she's on this high-legged stool, and, and what's happening is she is listening to her intuition. She's receiving these, these psychic messages and these psychic perceptions. And then she's got this priest back here, and he has the scroll. So as she gets the psychic information, she speaks it out loud, and then the priest, he interprets it, and, and he notes it. He records it. And this is a reminder that when it comes to psychic information, there, there's two pieces. We can have psychic information come into us, but it's also how are we interpreting it? How are we perceiving that information? Because sometimes we'll get psychic information and maybe we think that it, it has a different meaning or maybe we're spot on. Maybe the psychic information that we're getting is correct, but we're, we're not seeing physical proof of it. So maybe we're thinking, okay, well, I, I must have gotten that wrong. I must have totally mis misinterpreted that. I misunderstood that sign or those 30 signs per day. 
But this is a time where you are having a lot of psychic insights. You're receiving a lot of psychic information. You're getting images. You're getting signs. You're really getting a lot of information from the divine. Now, for some of you, you are resisting those signs. And for some of you, it, it's resisting because it has been such a struggle. So for some of you, you're getting these signs. You've been working really hard. You're like, I'm not seeing things come true. You know what? Why do you keep bombarding me with signs saying that this is going to happen and this is going to be the outcome and I'm going to be able to finally finish over overcoming climbing this mountain that I've been struggling for months to climb. And, and yet there's one block and one delay, one, one more thing. And that's why for many of you, you, you have. You've not been wanting to hear the, the insights because you, you are at a state of, for some of you, it is like despair. But it's not that extreme for everyone. But for some of you, it is. It's, it's kind of like, you know, you're at the end of, the, of your rope. You're like, you know, I can't, I don't know if I can trust these signs. I, I, I begin to think that this isn't, this isn't meant to be. For some of you, although you do receive a lot of psychic information, you, you receive, for many of you, you receive quite a bit of information. For many of you, you know the outcome, you know things, how they're going to play out, you know a lot of details, but because you haven't been seeing the physical manifestation of those things, because you've had repeated blocks and delays and hiccups and, and some of you feeling as though your power's been taken and someone's taken your control of the situation and, and some of you feeling as though you have no control over the situation, you are fearful that those insights aren't spot on but they are they are so trust the intuitive information that you're receiving because for many of you to finish this to get to the top of this mountain to complete this project complete this thing that you've been working toward it does require heavily relying on your psychic information the psychic um, insight that you're being given and that's that's leading the way for you now as far as what they're recommending you have paths unknown you see her, she's, she's standing here, she's looking at three different paths. Now, this is about being brave, brave enough to step out, brave enough to make a choice, having unseen opportunities, you know, even though things can be risky, still taking that leap of faith. For some of you, you've had all these delays, <laughs> all these hiccups, all these problems. You've had some people deceive you, You've had some people that have, been, have not been honest and forthright with you. And so you see how she's, she's angled toward these two paths. And he has, she has this fox back here. And these, these are the scrolls. These, it's the answers. It's the information. It's the map. Here's the map on how you get to where you want to go. And which can help her get to her destination. But you see she has her, her back turned. Because she's been deceived in the past. She's not sure if that can be trusted, if that's going to continue to cause more blocks and delays. But they're saying open up to help. So for some of you, you have help that's right there. It's not even like the same person. So for some of you, it, it, some of you it's a different person. So there's someone there that's there to assist you that wants to help you. They've got the map. They've got the path. They want to help you finish this. They want to help you get out of this force. They want to help you get to the top of the mountain. They want to have you, help you culminate this. Complete this so you can move on to the next chapter of your life. So you can have your new beginning. But because you have been deceived in the past, because there have been trials and tribulations in the past, you are hesitant to open up to assistance. You are questioning um, the intentions of others. You are questioning, can you trust them? Can you believe them? Are they going to do you right? But to get to your destination, you do need to open up to that help. You have... Raphael, communion, and so in this card, it's it's all about so. In the Islamic tradition, there's it's Hajj, and it's this annual celebration that they do, and they come together as a community, and it's you know it's collecting a collection of the petition, and, it, and it's praise of divine. Again, these are your recommendations. We're going to move these up for a moment. Okay. So, in the past, you've had all these blocks and delays, all these things that have kept you stuck, kept things from moving forward. It was all divinely meant to be, divinely timed, but it hasn't been easy. That's in your past. Presently, you're having difficulty making a choice. 
making a decision, taking a step forward. You're not sure what you can trust. You're not sure who you can trust. You're not even sure you can trust your intuition anymore. But for you to finish this, you do have to trust. So for many of you, this is trusting because again, you know, they were saying for some of you, this is people, these are people coming to your help. This is your Calvary. You've been praying for help. You've been asking for help. The help is on the way, but you now need to allow them to help you. They're going to be showing up. Don't turn your back on them. Allow them to help you. Allow them to assist you. And for others of you, this is a, they're encouraging you to pray to pray, to ask for help, ask for assistance. So that again, they can bring the Calvary in to help you finish this. Because for many of you, you're just, you're tired of spinning in, in circles all the time. Now I'm going to pull, I'm gonna pull a card to find out what was the key in the past. Cause you see there's, these paths can also be a path of the past, the present and the future. So I wanna find out the, in the past, what was the, the key element? What was the key thing that was keeping you from moving forward, from closing this chapter, beginning a new chapter? What is it that kept you stuck? And then I'm going to ask the same for what's presently keeping you stuck on the current path. Why not stepping forward? Why not begin those new things? And then what is going to be the key to getting you to move forward in the future? So we're going to do your past your present and your future and <laughs> we're going to bring it up in a minute okay so in your past you have the clover and this is all about luck at the top it says flowers surrounded in clover leaf means happiness surmounted over grief bits of luck and fortune await you have the potential to make life great so in the past you have been blocked from moving into a future moving into the things that you desire, be it new beginning with a new person, new beginning in a job. Uh, it's different for all of you, but the thing that you've been working and struggling toward, that change that you've been working toward, you've had difficulty because for many of you, things haven't been lucky in the past. There've been blocks, there've been delays, there's been deception, there's been lies, there's been heartache. For many of you, you have had a lot of grief to deal with because things weren't lucky because things weren't turning out. You weren't having luck in love. You were not having luck with work. You were not having luck with money, with finances, with relationships. It's just, it, it caused you a lot of heartache and a lot of hardship. And many of you, it caused you to not trust people, to not trust people, not be able to trust their intentions. And so you clammed up and you're like, you know what? I'm just gonna stay on this dusty little path. I'm gonna stay stuck in the forest because now, consciously, you wanted to move forward. You wanted to be free of this. You wanted to move into new life, new love, new job, new career, new everything. But because that still need to be healed, it kept you on, on that path. Now, what is currently keeping you stuck? You have the coffin. And this is about endings, culminations, completions, things being done over. Illness is known, sickness is near, fate has its own ending to fear. You lose your money, all's hopeless to you. And what is the saddest? Your courage fails too. So for many of you, this, in order for you to move forward into new, you do have to end something. So, okay, so for, they're saying most of you. So for most of you to have a new beginning, you have to have this ending. M many of you are fearful about this ending. So for some of you say this is, it's, Okay, so for some of you, it is love related. So you want a new relationship. You cannot have that new relationship until you finally finish closing the door and nailing that bad boy shut to a past relationship. So that karmic relationship, that person that you've been having drag on your coattails for months and years that you just can't seem like, it's almost like glue stuck to the bottom of your shoe. You cannot seem to end that. That has to end. No bones about it. You will not move forward. You will not have the happiness, the love, the passion that you desire. The, the same for many of you, you like you want to build a relationship that will last a lifetime. You want to build a family. You want to build a home. It's not with that person from the past, and you know that. You've had plenty of intuitive insight, but you you have not and will not move forward until it's completely done, over. For many of you, this is an ending of work. So maybe you've been wanting to start your own business. You've been wanting to change careers. 
because things aren't finished with the past, culminated over, you've not been able to move forward. And for many of you, it is fear because again, this is going to a path that's unknown. So you've known this relationship, you've known this job, you've known this career, you've known this for years, if not your whole adulthood. And that person, that thing that you are to end with completely to move forward, it's made you fearful, but it is a fated ending. It is destined, it is meant to happen. But that's what's keeping many of you stuck. It's just, you know, you're fearful. You're fearful of the unknown. Many of you are fearful and worried about money. So for some of you that it's, it's an ex-lover, there is money. There's finances tied to that person. For some, it's, it's work, it's job, it's career, it's business partner. But those fears, some of you, it's the fears of money is why you're fearful of moving forward. But for all of the situations, until that is done, completely finished, you can't move forward. You can't finish this battle. You can't finally get off that stair climber. You've been climbing those stairs feeling like you're getting nowhere for a really long time. In order to get somewhere, you need to finally just let this be done. In the future path, what's going to be a help to you, what's going to help you finally move into this new chapter of your life, what's going to help you get rid of these blocks, you have the lady, and this is the older lady. This charming woman with flowers in hand, as with a gentleman, her cards will command. The fortunes revealed once the cards have been placed unveil the fate that destiny traced. So for many of you, this is, this is a mother, this could be an aunt, this could be your employer, this could be your boss, this could be your supervisor, it could be someone in your management team, it could be someone that uh, is a potential business partner, but it's not a lover. They're saying it's not a lover. So again, this is, this is the key to helping you free, helping you move forward. So for many of you, this help that's coming, it could be your mother. It could be a family member. It could be your grandmother. It could be a, a person that is, is senior within your organization, but they're going to be assisting you. Okay. And I had to laugh because I looked at the bottom of the bluebirds and you have the stork. It's all about new beginnings. So it means you're going to have success. You are literally at the brink of success. To not give up at this point. It says, a stork in flight promises delight. A stork in range signals change. Progress heals pain drawn from the past. Embrace kindness and new friendships will last. So, you are going to have success. Now I put, I guess that's ready to come out. I put the bottom of the deck over here because I wanted to wait because what they were telling me is typically the bottom of the deck um, is an overall energy and what they were saying is this week this is actually your outcome so if you can remain strong if you can hang in there this literally for many of you will be the last of you climbing and battling now again you very well likely are going to have one last little thing come up but you will be successful in overcoming that Stay strong. Don't give up. Allow your help to come in and help you. Pray for help. Allow that help to come in. If you can do those things. You have two ones. They were telling me that uh, you had two repeater. Okay. So two ones in a reading is about uh, partnerships. It's also about new partnerships. So it could be one or the other. So many of you, most of you, this is business partnerships, work partnerships, love partnerships. You will have success moving into the new. If you can hang in there this week, let the help in, pray for the help because this is your outcome card. You have seven of keys, the ascent. You see this man, he's like at the top of this mountain. I mean, he has been working hard. You can still see the, the pitons on the side of the mountain. And those are those little metal spikes in the bottoms of his shoes. And he's got this rope. I mean, it has been a struggle for him to get up there. I mean, he's looking all scruffy, his hair's awry, he's got this five o'clock shadow. 
I mean, he has been working hard to finally get to the top of that mountain. You didn't just get there because of luck. You didn't just get there because, oh, well, I just stumbled upon this great blessing in this mountain that just landed here. No, you've been busting your fanny to get there. You have been putting in the work. It has been hell for some of you, but it's worth it. Your hard work, your effort, the things that you have been doing are about to culminate because it has taken your determination, it's taken your will, it's taken you continuing to hang in there when you wanted to give up, when you thought that, you know, it's all over, there's no hope, um, but it was your hard work and your hard work is about to pay off. So don't give up. You know, they say, and it's true, I've got to personally experience that all the time, God is never late. Now God will come squealing in at 11.59 would you think all hope is lost? But he will make it just in time. So hang in there, not give up. Okay, so think of a question. If there's something that has not been answered in this reading, we're going to pull one angel answer card for all of you. You got your question. Okay, let's see what you've got. <laughs> okay. Well then, let me get my book. <laughs> That's beautiful. All right. This is going to be a beautiful, magical, for those of you that have been putting it in. You have. You're ready. And it says, take it up so you guys can see it zoomed in a little bit more. Okay. All your past experiences have led to this moment. You've studied and grown spiritually in many ways. There is nothing more to do. You're ready to move forward and to embrace the person you know in your heart you are meant to be. The world is anxiously awaiting the contributions that following your life purpose will provide. You may have to put yourself first in the situation. It's time to do what is right for you. So hopefully that helps all of you Filled with a lot of love, joy, and blessings. And again, I will catch up on all of your messages, even any of the messages that you leave for this video. Thank you so much. And I wish you all a great one, which actually looks like it's going to be amazing.